Okay, I'm working with Blender version 2.78a. And in the last video, we did a Tron Glow effect uh, with some cubes here. So if I hit F12, we can render it. But we use the internal renderer. Today, we're going to use the Cycles renderer, uh, which will give you a slightly nicer look at the fault. Both can be tweaked a little bit. Um, but you'll notice that this took just under a second to render. Uh, and Cycles Render is going to up that, and that's at half resolution there. So let's go ahead and Control N to load our startup file. Again, I'm going to have my cube selected. I'm going to hit Tab, hit A once or twice to make sure you have everything selected, and then hit G Z one, Enter. That uh, grabbed everything, all the the vertices inside uh, the object here, and moved them all up, leaving the center point at the base of the object. Uh, at this point, I am going to go over here to materials and I'm going to go ahead and in this case, leave this as this white texture because I think that ended up working out better in the internal renderer. So let's leave it like that for now. But with the uh, object selected, everything selected, all the edges you want, we're going to hit uh, control B to bevel and we can start moving our mouse cursor until we get the edges that we want. And then we click and with them selected, we're going to come up here, we're going to hit new material, so that plus symbol to add a material to this object, but there's no material that, so let's go ahead and hit new material. And of course we're in the blender renderer still, let's change this to cycles. At this point, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to choose use nodes and I'm going to choose instead of diffused, we're going to go to emission. I'm going to go ahead and choose a reddish color since that what we did in the last video with the internal renderer and at this point if I hit F12 nothing happens because again I forgot to while those are selected so we have our edges that we want selected the material we want selected click assign and now I can hit F12 and you can see our edges are red they don't look like they're glowing because there's nothing for them to really glow on at this point plus we still have our lighting source here so I'm going to tab out of edit mode select this light, delete the light, spacebar, type plane, add plane, S, 10 to scale it up 10 and hit enter, whatever, you can make it bigger, whatever size you want, 10 is a good place to start. And we're gonna go to our world tab here and change our sky to black. And at this point I can hit F12 and we should have a nice edge glowing cube. But you already notice that this is taking longer to render than the internal renderer which took under a second for multiple cubes here with one single cube it took s almost 17 seconds to render but that's fine if that's the effect you're going for i'm gonna hit seven to go to top view five uh, to go out of perspective mode and choose our our cube here i'm gonna shift d scale this up i'm just gonna just like we did last time uh make a few different cubes here What is going on? Delete that. There we go. Let's go over our view here and we'll go ahead and add a few more cubes at different sizes here. And you know what, what I did in the last video is I kept them all straight. Let's, let's rotate some of them so they're not all on the uh, same plane there. That'll make it look a little nicer. So now I'm going to hit one on my number pad, which brings me to front view. Somehow I created these cubes under here. I was wondering when I was cloning those what happened. Okay, so one on the number pad to go to front view. Control, Alt, zero on the number pad to bring the camera to front view. At this point I can select my camera and move it up some so it's above our ground plane. And I'll hit F12 and here we go. We have our glow effect, our lighting effect, similar to that of which you see in the Tron movie. And that is it. And again, uh, both the internal render and the cycles render can be tweaked to make this look clearer. We could definitely up our sampling so our lighting doesn't look so grainy here, although I sometimes like the grainy look there. Uh, but again, comparing the two, this one definitely looks a little bit nicer, but it was taking almost 20 times more to render. Uh, and when you're doing 30 frames a second of video, that can make a big difference. So you have to weigh your pros and cons with this. So anyway, that is it. I thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, think about becoming a subscriber. Uh, think about commenting, sharing, liking, 
That stuff helps out a lot. Think about going to filmsbychris.com. There you can search through all my videos from all my channels and uh, also see other things that I have up. Uh, think about becoming a supporter over at patreon.com. That's uh, patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. There's a link in the description to that. Uh, and as always, I hope that you have a great day. I'm just playing around now. Let's go ahead and do this and see how that looks. So now we have some glowing text. Doesn't look that great with the red in the background. It's going to be kind of hard to read, but there you go. Thank you for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day. Films like Chris.com, that's Chris the K. Check out the links in the description. Have a great day.